Welcome back to Her Rules Radio. This is Alex Jameson. This is our first show of October 2019. And I tell you why I'm excited. Our little podcast is five years old this month. Yes. Welcome to the fifth anniversary of Her Rules Radio. The place to be for women who are ready to live life by their own rules. Yes. Um, I just want to thank you all so much for those of you who have been listeners, who've been subscribers, who've shared the show with other people. You've been here through thick and thin. Really appreciate you tuning in and sharing the show. It has allowed us to contact and interview the coolest experts, authors, and change makers for this series. And it is a real love for me to be able to speak what's in my heart and to dig up and find what I think are the important voices that are presenting different perspectives and talking about issues and discoveries that are important for all of us. And also sharing from not just me, although a lot of it's me, (laughs) but sharing um, different voices about some of the the issues that we're all challenged by. You know, I, I, I read a lot of books. You know this. If you listen to the show, you know I'm always talking about the books I'm reading. And I was reading a book recently about intrinsic motivation. You know, the internal drives that really push us in life and how there's three main drives. And I wanted to talk about this with you this week because I find it so fascinating It's something I'm always looking at. And in the last few days, just this last weekend, I led a two day retreat here in New York City for my Rich Creatrix mentorship. This is a six month coaching group and private program. So the the women get coached as a group by me twice a month on the full and new moon. And then they get private coaching sessions with me as well. And they came to New York together from all over the country, Oregon, Louisiana, Virginia, everywhere to be together and to dive into the places that are needing energy and attention in their personal life and in their professional life. They're all entrepreneurs They're all building or writing or creating stuff in the world that's important to them that serves other people. They're really working to use their strengths and passion in the service of helping others. And so we talked about these three internal drives uh, during this retreat several times. It kept coming up over and over again. And the first drive is autonomy. We really want to feel like we are in control of making the decisions in our life, of choosing our own path. And it's not about being alone. It's about being able to make your own decisions and feeling like you have the freedom and the resources to pursue your choices. The second drive is to create. Yes, I loved seeing this. You know me, I'm always talking about the creatrix. This is an old word that means she who creates, authoress, female founder, etc. So the drive to create something unique that really touches into our own voice, our own experience. Something that brings the, the soul and the nugget of who we are into creating something new into the world. That is a very, it's like a universal human drive. And the final of the three is to simultaneously do better, grow for ourselves and contribute to those around us to be of service and to do better, to achieve that next stage of being for ourselves, to mature, to grow our strengths, to heal while simultaneously serving others. And all of these are, right, don't they just hit you? When I read those, I was like, man, that really rings true for me. And it came up in the Rich Creatrix Mentorship several, several times they had a lot of intentions for our retreat. Some of them were 
really wanting to trust in their own words and trust in their own voice as they grow and develop a business platform. Um, one woman really wanted inspiration and clarity for what she was creating. And another woman who'd already written a book was like, I want inspiration and clarity to promote what I've already created, the book I've already written. And they also wanted to, uh, you know, pursue their potential, like to feel like they were achieving their potential more often. And that really related back to that third drive of wanting to do better for themselves while serving others. And they also wanted adventure, which was really interesting, that there was this real curiosity about the world and feeling like either they weren't traveling as much as they used to or having enough time for themselves to create adventures, to go do interesting and new things that were nourishing for their souls and their bodies. Or they, you know, had kids when they were young. And now that their kids are finally getting older, they can have a bit more time away from home. They're like, I didn't have the adventures that others had when they were younger. And I, I want that now. So those were some of the topics that came up. We also did a very cool exercise called life mapping that I've kind of honed and shifted over the years. I'm actually going to be teaching it in New York City in a creative mornings field trip soon. Um, but it's a, it's a way to look back over your life at the important moments, both positive and negative, and reframe them as strengths and to see all of your achievements laid out before you and to really start telling your story as a creative person, as a person who endeavors to lead and coach and support other people and see how your life story is truly inspiring and how you can recapture and start retelling that story from a place of power. Another thing that we did that was really fun is we actually watched some spoken word poetry and brought more poetry and emotion and raw truth into our writing, into our speaking. You know, these women are, they want to write books, they want to public speak, they want to, you know, just promote themselves online, whether it's Instagram or writing emails to people or a blog. And I thought, you know, spoken word poetry is such a great way to do that. It's all about truth and expressing truth creatively in a way that really touches people through the story. So we did that spoken word poetry. Um, we also went and had a really amazing tour of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. You know, it's me, so I've got to have art and creativity included in it. Um, I did include a personalized watercolor class for them, which was so fun. So, so, so fun. And oh, so many more things. We did a lot of great exploration and connection. And one of the things that was so valuable about this retreat was that every single woman experienced some kind of imposter syndrome, this self-doubt, who am I? to charge appropriate, like who am I to charge more money for my coaching? Even though there are people out there charging more, even though I have all this experience, like this self-doubt when it comes to our worth, the imposter syndrome that I'm a fake or a fraud, like I really don't know what I'm doing. Even though I know logically I do, I don't feel like I know what I'm doing and then I'm gonna be found out. And one of the greatest ways to heal that at least once, you know, it requires ongoing kind of inoculations with more connections with other women. But the way to handle imposter syndrome is to get in community, get in circle with other women and talk about our imposter syndrome. And through the life mapping exercise, we were able to really tell our stories from a deeply personal and compassionate point of view and to be able to step back and look at all that we've accomplished in life and all that we've tried and all the, the failures, but resilience and grit and skills and strengths that we've acquired. And hear the other people in the room say, you are so accomplished 
you know, one woman felt like she was a quitter in life and the other women were just like aghast. Like, I can't believe you think you're a quitter. Look at all you've done in your life. That is how we combat imposter syndrome. When we witness another woman, especially, this is especially true for women. I can't speak to it for men. But if it, if you're a dude, you're listening, or you're a non-woman, I really encourage you to do this with other folks that you trust. Witness how they have imposter syndrome, even in the face of the facts of all they've accomplished in this life. And then you'll see, oh my gosh, look at all you've done. I, oh wow, like I'm having the same imposter syndrome. And I see it so easily in you that that's not true. Like you are not an imposter. And it starts to make me feel like I'm not an imposter either. That is so valuable. It's priceless. We're able then to reconnect in a real felt experiential way our worth and our capabilities and then we're able to charge what we're worth and stand up for ourselves and and pitch ourselves and ask for the raise and put ourselves up for the promotion or you know go for that next step so these things while they're deeply personal they're so related to our successes external successes out in life i have this new saying It's based on the old saying, the personal is political. Well, the personal is professional too. And the deeper you're able to look at the ways that you operate, your habits of being, how we, you know, limit ourselves, our self-limiting beliefs, our old stories. And, and truthfully, we we talked about trauma as well. And I, I do my best and I'm always doing my best to be a trauma informed coach and podcast hostess. And looking back at times when we were in trauma and how might that trauma show up in our success goals, in our career path? How is a past trauma with money or anything? How is it affecting who I am as an adult? Is it getting in the way of me going for what I say I want? You know, I personally go to therapy. I have a whole team. I have team Alex. (laughs) I've got body workers. I've got therapists. I've got coaches. And believe me, I do see that the higher women go, the more support we need. So who's on your team? I have a wonderful therapist. And he actually sees our entire family in different versions like me and my husband or me and my kid or all three of us or just one of us. Um, Thank goodness for that, really. That was not available when I was a kid (laughs) going to family therapy for the first time. Um, They would only see the whole family or one of you. I like that we can get that different, um, you know, that observant set of eyes on the different permutations of our family. And I go to my counselor, I go to my therapist, like I go to Pilates, I go to Pilates to keep my body strong and in shape. And I go to my therapist to keep my mind and my soul strong and in shape. Same thing. It's like taking vitamins. It's like eating well. Therapy is the same. It helps me with all the things. And having these women, the Rich Creatrix Mentorship Women, come to New York City was such a gift. Uh, We had an amazing time. We had great food. We had an incredible celebration on the the rooftop of the Metropolitan Museum as the sun went down over Central Park and the New York City skyline. It was stunningly gorgeous. Um, Hop on over to my Instagram, at Delicious Alex. We'll be posting some pictures there shortly. And it was really inspiring. We were intrinsically, we were internally inspired. We rediscovered, we connected with our internal drive. And that is what we need. You know, this work for me is not a flash in the pan. I've been coaching, writing, podcasting in total for 19 years now. And this is my life's work. It's not just something I thought I might try. And it requires an ongoing commitment to 
my own health and well-being and personal growth and self-discovery so that I can be the best coach for the women I work with and you all, the people I speak to and interact with online. And sometimes I falter, absolutely. But I do my best not to. And I do my best to bring all the tools and compassion and perspectives to this work. So this is a thank you to all of you for being here with us, with me on Her Rules Radio on this podcast journey. And it's an invitation to you. I host these retreats. I'm hosting a a new retreat in New York City in November 2019 called the Unapologetic Creative Retreat. Small group, one day, New York City. It is going to be fabulous. We do this really deep but fun, clarifying, motivating work. And we do it together. So you can go on over to my podcast. You can go to herrulesradio.com and that takes you to my main website. Go to the work, you, up at the top. Check out my coaching options and see the spaces where we can interact together. You can also hit me up on Instagram at Delicious Alex. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And if you're new, welcome. And I hope you'll subscribe and keep coming back. All right, we will be back next week with more interviews. We've got a lot coming up for October to celebrate our five-year anniversary. Thank you all so much.